This video is sponsored by Invato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. In case you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can download this template from the link in the description. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Tech Logo Intro, no. Best Logo Intro, maybe? Or just say Quick Tech Logo Intro. I'm using 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 24 frames per second, and my duration is 5 seconds longer. Hit OK, and let's move to the first step. Create a new solid layer, and call it Noise. Use any color you want, and then hit OK. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the noise. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the amount of noise by 25%. It will generate some grains or digital noise on the solid layer. If I zoom in a little, you can see this noise has some color, so uncheck this use color noise option, and it will be in monochrome. If you play it, you can see the noise is animating, which we don't need. Because due to the YouTube compression, the intro quality becomes very low. So let's fit it 100%, and then right click on your noise layer, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it noise. Move all attributes into the new composition, and then hit OK. Now right click on it, go to the time, and choose freeze frame. It will remove all the motion from this layer, and now we have static noise on the solid layer, and it is not animating at all. Now import your logo into the project, and place it onto the timeline. You can also add your text instead of the logo. I am going to change the scale value to around 50%, and then pre-compose it. Let's call it logo comp. Select move all attributes into the new composition, and then hit OK. Let's create the flicker effect now. I think the logo looks a little bigger, so select the logo comp, and change its scale value. Then go to the 6 frames position, and then open opacity. Here add a keyframe on it. Go to the 2 frames backward, and change the opacity to 0%. Again 2 frames backward, and opacity 100%. I am randomly adding the opacity keyframes, to create the flicker effect. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Now select all keyframes, right click on them, and choose toggle hold keyframe. It will look much better. But the animation speed is too fast, so select all keyframes, press and hold the option, or alt on your keyboard, and drag the end keyframe to the right to make the animation slower. This is looking fine, but I think I need to add more keyframes to it. Let's adjust these keyframes to get some room, and then add more keyframes to make the flicker more random. Make sure to use the opacity 0% and 100% only. Not bad. As you can see, the noise texture is only visible in the background, but we want this texture on the logo as well. So place the logo comp below the noise composition, and then change the blending mode of the noise layer. In case this blend mode tab is not available for you, press F4 to switch between, or right click here, go to the column, and choose modes, as well as the switches, because we're going to need it later. Now change the mode to screen, and it will show some grains on the logo. Let's change to color dodge, and it will look much better. Fit it 100%. And now we are moving to the next step. In case, the logo color does not matter to you, then you can apply fill color on it, and change the color to a different one, such as the off-white, and it will show the noise on the logo layer more nicely. Nice. Now go to the 12th frame position, select the logo comp, and then split it using the control, 
or Command Shift D on your keyboard. Then select the top layer, and change the scale value to a higher number. Let's go to around this position, and change the scale value to something like 250%. Now add a keyframe on the scale, then go to the starting position, and change the scale position to even more, something like 500%. Check the animation, and this is how it will look now. Select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Open the graph editor, and change the curves to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and as you can see, the quality of the logo looks a little blurry. So all we need to do is just click on this Collapse Transform option, and it will make the logo sharper. Let's add the stroke now. Right click on your logo comp, go to the layer style, and choose Stroke. Then open the Blending option, then open Advanced Blending. Here change the fill opacity to 0%. Now open the stroke, and first change the stroke color to the same as we have used for the logo. Also, change the position of the stroke to the center. And this is how it will look. This stroke only works on the transparent logo, the logo with background might not look that great. Check the animation, and see what we have done till now. Not bad. Let's add the text at this position, so go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start adding your text. You can use your channel name, or the brand name. Now eject from the typing box, and align it to the center. Make sure to place it below the noise layer as well. And now we're moving to the next step. I want my text to appear in this position, so I am placing the starting position right here. Then it will stay for about 5 to 6 frames, and then we'll split the rest, and delete it. Now create a new adjustment layer, and call it invert. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the invert. Place it onto the layer, and it will create this inverted effect on the composition. But we don't need this effect to stay all the time, so I'm keeping a small portion of it. Let's keep the 8 frames, then split it, and delete the top part. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Not bad. Let's select this logo stroke comp and then press S to open scale. Go to the 1 second position, and then add a keyframe on the scale. Then move to around 4 frames forward, and change the scale value to 180%. Again go to the 4 frames forward, and decrease the scale value even more. And for the last scale value, change it to 100%. Now select these four keyframes, right click on them, and choose toggle hold keyframe. It will create this choppy looking scale effect. Now I'm going to split this layer as well, and we will keep it to make the logo reveal. Now open this layer, and then open the layer styles. Here delete the stroke first. Also, open this blending option, then advance blending, and change the fill opacity to 100%. It will make the logo visible. Now select your logo layer once again, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC jaws. Apply it onto the layer, and we will use it to make the text reveal. We can also make it look like the original MKBHD logo intro. But we have to customize the logo animation each time, so instead, I'm using this transition. Let's change the direction value to 45 degrees, and the height value to 0%. Then go to the position, where you want to show the logo reveal. And then add a keyframe on the completion. Here change the completion value to 0%, then go to a few frames back, and change the completion value to a higher number, so that the logo disappears. Now press U to reveal all keyframes, then go to the beginning of the logo layer, and then adjust the timing of it. 
I'm going to place it right here. Now go to the end position, and then add a keyframe on the scale. We already have many scale keyframes applied on it, so we will turn off all the scale keyframes first, and then add again. Let's place it here. Now change the scale value to a lower number. I am keeping it to 80%. Now select all keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curves to something like this. If required, you can always zoom into your timeline, so that you can see the handles of the curve. And this is how it looks. Adjust the timing if you need. Now select the text layer, and right click on it. Go to the layer styles, and choose inner shadow. Open the inner shadow, and change the size value to 50%. Again, right click on it, go to the layer styles, and this time select the drop shadow. Open this drop shadow, and change the size value to 40. Let's keep the color to the off-white, so that you can see a shadow right behind your text layer. Now select the drop shadow, as well as the inner shadow, and copy it. Then minimize all layers by pressing M on your keyboard. Select the bottom layer, and paste the layer styles right here. Now we need to adjust a few values of it, so that it will appear good on the logo layer. Open inner shadow, and change the size value to 30. Also, change the opacity value to 50%. Then open drop shadow, and change the opacity value to 50%. Select this layer, and paste on it as well. Now open this layer, and then layer styles. Here open the inner shadow, and change the color to the off-white as we are using. And for this last layer, select it, and paste the layer style on it. Let's open the layer style, and adjust its value as well. We just want the logo to appear nicely. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Go to the 2 second position, and press N to set the comp area end. And this is how it looks. You can make it a little longer if you want, but we are trying to make it as quick as possible. I think I need to adjust a few things in the duration, so that it will look better. Select this logo comp, and press U to reveal all keyframes. Let's go to the first completion keyframe, and change the completion value to 50%. Also place it to the left, so that it will appear instantly. And now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, and web templates. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description.